Hey guys, welcome to another math tutorial. Just a note to check out my website www.magicmonktutorials.com which has all the maths you need for high school in Australia. Okay, so today we're going to learn about uh, how to differentiate composite functions using a chain rule and you probably have no idea what I'm talking about so I'm just going to start from the basics alright so the first thing is uh, if you remember how to differentiate if we just have a normal equation y equals let's say x squared then dy dx which is the derivative of y is just 2x so you guys all know how to do that but let's say we have something slightly more complicated if we have something like y equals x minus 2 squared what's dy dx? well if you guys uh, are uh, if you guys uh, remember how to expand uh, what you can do is you can expand y first so I'm just going to use another color and uh, so basically we haven't done we haven't differentiated yet we're just expanding it so this is equal to x minus 2 x minus 2 which is equal to x squared uh, plus 4 minus 4x right so now we can use the rule for differentiation move the power in front minus 1 in the power so this is 2x minus 4 that's differentiated now the problem with doing it this way is expanding takes quite a bit of time so I'm just gonna take show you a shorter way which is called the chain rule and rather than writing out the rule which will confuse everyone I'm just gonna show you how to use it so if we have y equals x minus 2 squared and we're looking for dy dx now what you're gonna do is you're going to pretend that the bracket and the squared is not there okay so you're gonna pretend um, let me just color it out using another pen you're gonna pretend this is not there and you're just gonna differentiate the inside okay so what is the derivative of x minus 2 well minus 2 is gone so it's just 1 so you're gonna write down 1 and then you're going to times and then what you're going to do is you're going to uh, let me just get rid of the yellow stuff now you're going to pretend that the inside is one variable so you're going to pretend all of this inside is one variable let's call it u and uh, you're going to you're going to differentiate y equals u squared right which is if you differentiate that it becomes 2u okay so now what you're going to do is you're going to uh, change it change the u back to x minus 2 so it's 2 times u u is x minus 2 right so it's 2 times x minus 2 and that's how you differentiate it uh, and uh, if you simplify all of that then that gives you 2x uh, minus 4 All right, if you expand this in All right, 1 times 2 is 2 2x minus 4 so this is exactly the same as this right but we didn't have to expand the bracket so you have no idea what I'm what I just said let's try it again y equals 2x minus 3 squared 
Now, if we did it the old way, we would have to expand it first. So we'll have to go 2x minus 3, 2x minus 3, expand it, which takes a long time. So it's 2x times 2x is 4x squared, minus 3 times minus 3 is plus 9. Minus 3 times 2x, negative 6x minus 6x is negative 12x. And then you're going to differentiate it. So dy dx is equal to 8x minus 12. Okay, so that requires you to expand. Now, if I use the chain rule, which is uh, y equals 2x minus 3 squared, what I can do is I firstly differentiate the inside. So step one differentiate the inside. So now 2x minus 3, that differentiates into 2. And then step 2, multiply. Write down the multiply sign. And then step 3, note that's a multiply sign, that's not an x. Step three, differentiate the outside. So I'm pretending that the inside is just one term and I'm differentiating the outside. So I'm moving the two in front. So that's two times two X minus three and the power minus one. So two minus one is just one. So that's the answer. Now if you expand that, it becomes 4 times 2x minus 3, which is 8x minus 12, which is exactly the same as this. Alright, so hopefully you guys have an understanding of the chain rule. Now, uh, this is actually a quicker way than um, doing another way where you use the proper formula for the chain rule which we're going to talk about next lesson uh, but uh, I just want you guys to practice one more question just to make sure you can do it so I want you to see if you can differentiate. Let's differentiate um, x plus 3 squared. y equals x plus 3 squared. See if you can do that. Come back and check the video when you're done. Okay, so now I have dy over dx equals I uh, differentiate the inside, so that's just 1 times. Differentiate the outside, move the 2 in front, so it's 2x plus 3 to the power of 1. So I don't need to write the 1 there. So it's just 2x plus 3, which is 2x plus 6. So that's the answer. Okay, uh, do a slightly harder one. y equals 5x plus 4 squared. So See if you can do that. Come back when you're done. Okay, so the answer is uh, inside differentiated is 5 times the outside differentiated is 2 bracket 5x plus 4. So the answer is 10 times 5x plus 4, which is uh, 50x plus 40. Okay, um, now what happens if the power is not squared, right? That's where the chain rule becomes useful, right? Because if you wanted to differentiate, use a brighter color, if you wanted to differentiate y equals 2x minus 3 to the power of 6. Right, you're not going to expand it out 
by writing six brackets and try to expand it, right? Even if you use binomial expansion, it'll still take a while to figure out. So what I'm going to do is use the chain rule. So I'm going to get six, move it to the front. Oh, actually, let's differentiate the inside. So that's two times. Move the six to the front, six, two x minus three to the power of five. And uh, obviously no one would expect you to expand it out. So there's 12, 2x minus 3 to the power of 5. That's the answer. Okay, I hope you guys learned a little bit about um, using the chain rule today. See you next time.